So I'm down here in what we call the apple orchard of our backyard, our shared community backyard. And everything is just lush and green. The weeds are growing up so thick. The apple trees are starting to have greenery on them, as you see there. And I've noticed dandelion greens are just so lush. It looks like lettuce. Look at these greens. Let me pick a piece right here. You just look at that beautiful color. And everything here is so thick and green because it rained a couple of days ago and last week. And it's been sunny all day, so everything's beautiful. I think I'm going to try and cook some of these greens. I've always heard you can eat dandelion greens, and these just look edible to me. Well, I'll let that you know how that silly. goes. So I picked them all. It looks like you could eat these. I've always heard you could. So these look like the most edible dandelion greens ever. Fit, spring is in full flow right now. So I thought I should try this out. These are really healthy. So I looked up a recipe that says to saute them. They can be bitter. So you have to cook them with a lot of flavors like garlic and soy sauce to cover up the bitterness. So I'm going to, right here, cook and see how they taste. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna wash them off first. So I'm gonna get a bowl. Cause they are outside and I know cats and dogs and other critters go out there. So I really gotta wash it well. So what I'm doing now is I'm chopping off the stems because they, I heard that that's what makes them bitter. This is a really healthy looking leaf. It almost looks like it's lettuce or something, but it's from dandelions, the weeds that grow in your yard. I have Leo licking me and helping down there, just letting me know that I'm loved while I'm cooking. And there's the, I didn't have garlic, so I'm using onions and garlic powder. So I'm sauteing those so they get brown and then I'm gonna add in the greens. So I chopped up the greens, I added them, and I turned the heat down. Let's, I can already smell it cooking, and it does smell pretty bitter. I see why they say you need to add a lot of soy sauce and some savory, strong flavors like garlic into it. So I'm gonna cook this down real small. You see the color is looking kind of like spinachy, but yeah, it smells real bitter. This will be an experiment. Hopefully it tastes good, but they don't need rice. And of course, within less than a minute, the heaping pan full of greens cooked down to what will be like a small bowl full. But it looks like spinach. I could almost fool you and tell you this is spinach. I will do the taste test on camera after this, after it cools down. So here are the dandelion greens. Actually made a pretty good plate full. Um, I'm gonna put some soy sauce on it and eat it. Part of me feels like I should have a bowl of rice to eat it. I'm gonna try it first though, without soy sauce. Just salt, garlic powder, onions, and dandelion greens. I'll try adding some soy sauce, see how that tastes. I think it'll just make it a little bit saltier, which I don't know if it needs it, I added salt already, but. Mm, yeah, now I kind of want a bowl of rice with this. I think this would go really well with rice. Let me hold it up to the camera and the light. It's a very wet, juicy green. It's not all oil, it's just the moisture from it. But as you can see, it looks like spinach. More rough texture than spinach, but it's good. I don't think it's bad at all. It doesn't taste bitter. I'd, if you told me this was spinach, I wouldn't have questioned you. It's good. Cool. There you have it. Dandelion greens from my backyard.